Okay, I was working on some shovel heads here. Some stuff laying around I should be working on months ago. The owner might recognize them. The, uh, anyway, we'll look at gloss port, so I had to grind the welds all down to make it look presentable. So, now it's all ground round, so you don't see it after I blast it, or you won't see the work I did. And of course, I kind of accidentally did a little porting in there while I was at it, and I just kind of blend them in there. And of course, I was so pissed off at the intake, I accidentally hit that too. I had to clean it up just slightly. Nothing to do with, so. I can't leave anything alone. So now I have a problem. This head looks really nice. This head over here is stock, so. Now I gotta work on this one to make it the same. So this is what the exhaust port is supposed to look like stock. Looks like they got a helicoil in already. Uh, helicoil is supposed to be below the surface, not above, so that needs to be chopped and redone. So maybe I'll uh, take that back out and redo that problem. I think there's a pretty good chance that that's going to happen. So, <clears throat> anyway, these are, uh, what are your These are, uh, these are uh, we got 78, so it's a 78 shovel head. Alright, or 79, somewhere in that area. Oh, 79 should be an 80 inch motor. This is 74 inch casting, so. And there's a replacement head. Something got a little carried away and banging on the, whatever they're eating on. They had a rat eating on that. We gotta touch that off. We use a file for that. I had to do the same thing on this one. Right there, I nicked it down a little bit. We'll do the same. Alright, so I'll, uh, I'll lightly blend in some of this crap right here, like I did the other one. Knock off the turd right there. On the intake, you got a really big ass shelf right through here we need to get rid of. Make it look like this one over here. I'll smooth it out so the air comes in nice and straight on both sides. See how the air will come all the way in there real nice now. It doesn't hit the stupid wall they put right where it matters. I don't know why they put that in there. It's so easy to do it right. And on the outside, I don't do too much out here. Just kind of knock off any high spot like that shelf right there we'll knock that one out too but I'm not really gonna do too much on these just enough to make them run better call that bang for the buck knock out the big chunks that are in the way and leave the rest of it alone that's all you really gotta do to make them run good that'll get you 80 percent of everything you'll do and it'll cost a fortune all right first thing I'm gonna do is knock off the uh, high spots here with a file Trying to hold the file flat. Okay. Take off that one. Drop down the next bed. You can see better. Electric wires, all kinds of crap in the way around here. All right, a little bit closer, you can see better. All right, so all we're doing is knocking out the high spot. You can see the, the high spot there. I'm knocking off the third one down right now. Just pull the file flat. If you feel something is cutting on it. Probably a high spot. Cut it off. You can kind of hear it when it starts to cut evenly. Okay, looks a little better now. Let's cut at an angle a little bit, give a little radius to the fin. Make it look like a real fin. Now just a square edge. All right, there's another nick over here on this side. There you go, clean those off too while we're at it, what the hell. Okay, now we flip it over to the other side. The same nicks around there or there. See how deep that big nick is right there? So. That whole 
Finn's a big neck. It's casted very uneven, not flat. You can really see I'm growing, taking quite a bit of material out. See, it's starting to sound flatter. A little radius. There you go. Fix more than one thing. Well, it feels like it's really digging in heavy. You're probably doing something wrong. So back off a little bit. And see what you're really cutting on. You can hear it down in here cutting in the back side. <clears throat> so I'll roll it back a little bit further. casting again. Files work the best for doing fin work because it keeps it straight and flat. Grinders don't do a very good job of it. These fins are just all mixed up all over the place. Using this head quite a bit. I'll make a too smooth, but it won't look right. This one's just a bad casting. A lot of stuff sticking up to grab you. All right, a little extra work on those I didn't need to do. Oh well, get in line. Do anything else twice. Okay, so now I'll go in and actually work on the port. All right, doesn't matter where you start, pick a spot you like and go for it. Right, let's work on the exhaust. That's where I started before. Alright, I don't know how much this you're going to see, probably not much. Just put your finger in and feel anything is stupid sticking up and get rid of it. This one's pretty clean, so I'm not going to get too carried away with it. Use a fine cutting to Hold on to it, it helps. Fine rounded shape one. Always you get in the area where you can't get to normally with a flat one. Alright. I got a little bit better in there. So I'm cutting right there. I cut the fin all the way down in there. I got a big chunk right here. It's Big hump right there, it's in the way. That hump needs to come out of there so the air will flow out to port evenly, not jump and miss half the damn pipe. So we're gonna have to cut that out with a little bit coarser cutting material or stone, whatever you want to call it. Bit, it's a bit, that's what it is. Here's something a little bit coarser. This one's coarse too, but see it's too flat to get in there. You need something to get in there with the radius. So just put the cutter right where you want to get rid of it, not where you don't want to. That's all it takes. Move it around slightly. Gone now, right there. Blending a little bit. A little bit more blending. I can 
still got more out, but I'm not going to need to. Get off the heavy stuff. Flattens out any ridges that might be in there, and it's done. That's simple. Just knock out the big turd threat there. There's still some in there, but yeah, close enough. Knocked out most of it. This is a low spot here, it's a hole, didn't really do much. We can knock that down slightly right there if we feel like it. Doesn't really do much, it jumps over it anyway. Well, if you want to knock it down, it doesn't take squat to do it. Same deal. Just barely kiss it a little bit, that's all it takes. Blend it a little bit. Come back with a smoother one to find that one. A little bit of that X pattern thing to kind of knock it knock off the high spots and kind of blend it, make it more flat. Yeah, hooked. I'm hooked. All right, so we knocked down some of it. Nothing much, just a little bit. Okay, now over here you can see there's a big ledge over here. Got to get rid of this. So that's the next part to hit. So over here, take it around a little bit. Get an angle you can get to it a little bit with. You're not going to be able to see squat me doing this one. Nope. Camera don't fit either. Nothing fits on this job. Alright, so we're just going to play in here a little bit. You can't really tell what I'm doing too much if I the angle. See kind of angles how I move my hands around. Now the way you hold the grinder is you want to pivot here on the airline. You just push with your fingers up or down. Trigger. This finger, that finger, this finger to work a trigger, whatever works. You can also flip it around this other way and use your thumb to work it. You know, that works good. You're pivoting off the ball of your hand here. Move it around. you got good control of what you're doing with this. So, make it comfortable for whatever you are doing. What you don't want to do is being going like this. You can't control that. Or using this big ass piece of crap like this. How do you make it do this? What I can do with this one? You can't. You used to be moving this thing like this, and you see you can't control where this is at. I can control my tip right here real easy by moving my hand. This one here, you can't do shit with it. This is for cars, semi trucks. You know, some with long ports like this that are rectangular shaped that are huge. Yeah, not motorcycles. This we use for motorcycles, small stuff. Okay, this is, uh, I'm going to grind the wall a little bit out.
a great one. Smooth one. But radius. done. Make that look simple, don't I? So basically I cut the edge out in here. There's a wall too here, shell. Glue that whole thing down. Now this has a big lip on this right here. See the sharp edge up here on the back side? Right there where my finger is. Okay, this one here I cut it off and blended it. So now it's a taper. You want to leave the pipe step so it doesn't hit on the edge of the pipe directly. So you want to leave that but you want to angle it so it goes up into it. And then this here, I just blend this whole thing into here, which would blend into the one over here. There's still a little bit of, I can do a cleanup just a little bit right there. A little bit rougher than I like, so just come in there, just kiss it lightly. If you don't like it, hit it again. So you move it around a bunch all over the place, so you knock off high spots. All right, rotate the head. A different direction. Get to it. Hmm. Are you going too much or too little? All right. Now we're over here. So I'm gonna do. You can see the sharp edge right here. Where my fingernails at? I'm gonna knock that down. Put a taper to it. I'm gonna keep the full height. And this has already been ground over here, so I just blend into that. And I'll take that. It's already cut there. I'll blend into that. It's pretty smooth up there, so I'll leave that alone. There's no reason to go in there dicking around. There's some sharp edges way up in here, way up where my finger is. You, know, you can go in there and clean that out a little bit if you want. I'm not gonna screw with it. It's an exhaust board, it's not that critical. I'm not doing a full port job anyway, I'm just cleaning things up. Of course I'll get pissed off and go in there and cut it anyway. Probably will. Pretty much work in the dark, can't see squat. You can feel what the cutter's doing. If you got a good feel, you don't have to see. Okay, same thing I did there, just feeling it. Okay, now we go to the radius one for the outside edge, but smooth. Done. Oh, now I can see what I did. Oh, geez, who screwed that all up? All right, so there's those high spots way up in there like that. That I still don't like. You come in there with a cutter like this. You stick this thing, see how you can stick this whole damn thing in the port? And the cutter's over here on the other side. So, oh, over there. Just gonna look in there a little bit. Choke point. Choke point's where you want to cut out. All right, see how I did that? You're gonna feel how rough it feels. See if you screwed it all up. Bounce around a little bit. There you go, smooth it out a little bit. All right, it's done for that side. Doesn't take much to knock off high spots. Oh, we're dealing with his high spots anyway. And then they go over here. This side. You can work on it from the other view. So you can see the exhaust port. It's got a chunk ledge right there. Not radius, and you got the rough port at the bowl down where my finger is. And you can see where I cut in with the other cutter on the other side. You just take this one here, you go in there like this. 
See how the trigger hits right here? So that's not good. Flip it around so you use your fingers. You roll the back side right here. Don't cut this very much. Just take the sharp edge off and no extra. Don't go cutting on that short side. It'll screw it up quicker than anything. Do that one hand with a with a camera and the other. See, so you put your finger in there. You can't use your big finger because you can't bend it and it's in the way of the guide. So you use your little small finger that can wrap around that direction. Use your other small finger to get in the other direction. See, like that. That way you can feel what you're doing. There's a big piece of carbon right up under there, which I'm not going to worry about. Anyway, I knocked off a little bit of a ridge there. Clean it up. So that's good. <clears throat> that's all it takes. Real light touch. If you're pushing hard, you're going to screw it up. Don't do that. This side over here is already fully opened up, so you don't need to do anything with that side. Port's offset to that one side a lot. See how the port's made? It's, it's offset way to the one side over here, or nothing on this side. That's how Harley does it. It's screwed up. I like them more equal. Okay, so now we can go over to the intake port. Let's see, so gotta knock off that ridge that's right in there. Whoop, get down where you can see it. That ridge where I put my finger right in through there. Now oh, you can't touch shit. Oh, my hands boy. Alright. Alright, we're gonna use a coarse one for this. With one hand, the one handed porter. The camera, I can see though. Do the camera a little bit. Okay, see how this is in my way again? The trigger's hitting down here, so when I come down, I'm gonna turn it on. So you rot rotate it around, get over here where my finger's at. You can use a trigger, you can use this one, whatever finger works, doesn't matter which one you use. Okay, so over here on the side, it's pretty smooth. You can see some casting flash, but not much. We don't want to cut over there too much. cuttings right here. So let's see how the cutter, cutter bounces up over the top of that. Let's see if I can get rid of it. Trying to make it round, but it's hard to do with one hand. Big cutter bounce, digs in and goes like this. My other hand would hold up. Alright, but you see what I'm doing. It's just with one hand, see? I'm just using one hand. That's all I'm doing. That's all it takes. Okay, so now you take your finger. Whichever one you want, pinky, small one. Whatever one fits in there works best. Okay, it's relatively smooth, the shape's good. 
You can notice it's bouncing around quite a bit. It's still relatively smooth. It's round, relatively round. And over here, it's already cut away. You don't really need to do much over there. Okay, so I'm going to smooth this up a little bit. Now, the best way to smooth up, make a port round in a bowl. Take your fine cutter. Use the seat as a guide and kind of roll it around like this. It'll find the high spots real quick for you. Hard to grind something flat or round. I'm putting pressure with this other hand like this. It's also stabilizing it, but you're pulling with your two fingers here, back and forth with a tip. See? It's all how you hold it. Okay, so you can see I was cutting right over here, and you can see how the seat's being lightly cut. It doesn't really cut the seat because it's hard. <clears throat> but it'll smooth up the port, it'll make it more round, and also smooths it a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, now I'm going to go up inside here with my other, with the cutter up way up here a little bit deeper. Try to knock off any more burrs that might be up in there. We're using a straight part of the cutter here. Okay, what are we going to do with that? Okay, now we're going to take our smooth one, radius, and we just kind of go over the whole thing lightly, clean it up. Feels good. Feels relatively round. No whoop de doos in it. You can see how it smoothed it. Nice and smooth like that. Now this bowl is totally different than the other head. <clears throat> the other head, if you look at it here, it's still got a big chunk in there in the bottom. It's not nearly as big as this port. This port's a lot bigger than this one. The heads are, rarely are these heads even close to each other. And this has a nice port in it. This one over here sucked. So this one here, we're making it better, and it's already a lot better. Now we got some high spots right here where my finger is right there. It kind of comes to a peak, but we can get that from the other side. So it kind of got, like, goes over a ridge like this. You got a low spot here and a low spot here, and, and that's the hump right where my finger is. If you grind that out a little bit so it's nice and straight in with a V, you're good. Only problem is it's hard to do that. Oh well. Check this side. This all feels good. We're done on that side. <clears throat> all right. So now all we need to cut is where I just told you, right there, that high spot, right where the cutter is in there. That's where you want to cut. It's right to spot right here. Not here, not back here, right there only. And don't come up. Just that just take that hump out right there. That's all you want to do. There's one on each side. You can narrow the boss up a little bit, but don't cut the boss away. Top guy boss. I need two hands to do that because I gotta control where it's at. It's hard to do that with one hand. <coughs> I'm gonna try my bigger cutter because it gives you a nice radius. See how it feels? Yeah, it feels good. So when I'm going in there, I can feel the cutter going like this as I'm going around it. So I'm using that feel to do it. We just did that on both sides. See the two V cuts right there? One that side, one that side. See right here, right there. 
Okay, that took a lot of that hump that was in there. My fingers are almost going in there flat now. Okay, now I'm just going to blend it, make it look a little prettier. I'm not really cut much more out of it. I cut about a sixteenth out of that, doing what I just did. Sixteenth makes a big difference when it's in the wrong spot. the side a little bit. I'm going to come back on the other side and re-kiss the other side that where V is. I just did too. Don't do everything from one side. You'll screw up the back side where you can't see. Okay, so now we're going to knock off the high spot, which is right into here. I'm going to use this long, coarse one to do that. See, see where you cut. The high spot was there, I came down until I hit that and I stopped. You feel it? It feels relatively smooth. Took the big hump out. Now I'm going to change my angle just slightly and try to pick up a little bit more in this area and not cut any more here. That'll take a little more of the hump out and more we'll blend it. And you can see we're eventually going to get into that other spot. Even though I'm trying not to uh, really do any porting here. <clears throat> That's me. Feels good. Okay, so I just all I do is widen it out a little bit. It made it a lot smoother. Don't worry about that. That's fine there. That low spot right there, that's fine. Leave it. Don't don't screw with it. Don't cut the lip off here. Just just knock off the turd. Turd's right here again. Same thing. It's sticking up. It's machined. But it has a it has a little curl like that at the end. <clears throat> that's what you're cutting off. So you have to be very smart to do this, just pay attention. Blend the V at the bottom. Of the course, we go to the fine. PM doesn't do much cutting. We're not trying, we're just trying to smooth. Not trying to take a big cut. Okay, and I can see all the same lows and highs, but they're getting more blended, see. But I'm not this is I don't care about up here. Don't cut it. I don't need to be cut there. So see I just got a nice straight V. You gotta flow that way, flow that way. The bob guy stops the flow here, so you don't really need to do anything right with my finger. There could be a big fin right there, don't hurt it. That'll probably help it actually. Now over here I still got a pretty crap up in here, but I gotta change the head around to get a better angle to that. So this is all done here. So all it takes. Of course now I'm making it too good, I gotta redo the other head now. 
see, I'm showing you how to do stuff, I get more, more into it. Okay, so this one here is all rough and crappy on this side, so you gotta do this. It's gonna be over here because that's the way the head's being held. Camera's in the way. Okay, same thing, knock off the high spots. See where I cut, where I didn't cut. Didn't do much cutting over here, but now it's smooth going right in. These little loop loop loops in there, I'll blend them out slightly, but they're still gonna be there. This side here I'd actually do a little bit of cutting because it's all this whole thing's high through here. But you can see I didn't cut right here because it was low. Okay, but this right here is needs a little bit more metal out right where my finger is, which I'll blend in this slightly. Do not cut up in here on your short side, leave that alone. Just keep your cotton picking fingers out of that area. Okay, so I'm going to blend it from here to here, a little bit smoother, and then I'm going to go to my fine. This side here is good, I'm just going to fine it. I need both hands, so you're going to have to figure out what I'm doing. to make it more straight. All right, so this is pretty straight through here. A little bit of humpiness through there. This could be worked on a little bit more, but I'm not going to do it. This here is a little wavy, but I got a little through there. Pretty clean. Like I said you can work on this a little bit more if you want to make it bigger, but it's pretty clean. 90% of the stuff's done. The shape's good. It could be blended a little bit more, but that's about it. This is the way worst spot through here, and it's still pretty damn straight. All right, so I'm going to flip it around the other side. See what I did on the other side of that V that we did? Flip it around this way. Back over here again. Okay, now we can see what kind of damage we did on this side. Okay, so I'm going to just blend that right to there a little bit. Same right here, just a little bit. And it doesn't look like we really did any damage to it. That's good. That means I didn't overcut it. That's the hardest thing to do is not overcut it. You get in there, you get carried away. Cause oh, damage. That's bad. It's getting loaded up on the tip. When it loads up, it starts bouncing real bad. He's a bad finish too. Okay. This side needs to be cut more, that side's good. So this one here I blend was pretty well blended in. This one's still got a pretty good jump down, so I need to cut a little bit more right here from the other side to knock it down, make it more equal. Now we're actually porting doing that. We're not blending, we're porting. No matter how much material you're removing, it's a difference in those two. This is where you screw up things real quick. You give it a little extra. That's what always gets you in trouble, that little extra.
where to go. Find my cutter. Alright. So you see now I took most all that out of there. That first cut was this way, then I had to go this other direction, change the angle. So instead of having a tool like this, I had to change it coming at this angle. So I had to get in there where I had to get down in there where I could cut, but I didn't cut into here. Okay, now I come in and just do a little blend. It really doesn't need it, but I don't feel right unless I'm doing it twice. It makes me feel better. Okay, so I took off the high spot that was in there. That mountain is now gone, or the peak of the mountain. I think it comes in more or less straight. It's kind of a radius. It could be detailed a little bit better, but it's 90% of that thing is gone. That's really going to make a difference in airflow, right? Doing that, taking that crap out like that is huge. So all this stuff way out here looks nice, but you ain't doing much. That's what matters. That choke point right there. We got rid of that choke point. It's going to flow some air now. This side here is pretty open. It was nearly as bad as the other side. Now when you look down here in the port, you want to see equal flow around both sides of the guide. And you can see how we're pretty equal now, which is good. That's what we want to be. All right, this head is done. Now the problem is I made this one too nice, so I'm going to go do the other side. Damn, more work. Couldn't leave well enough alone. I'm going to have to actually do more work. If you're a quick job, you spend an hour doing it. A good job, you'll spend two or three hours per port. Now, this here was a Jim's holding fixture, but you can make one out of a spark plug and a piece of material. Somewhere. Stay put. Piece of headstock, spark plug. There you go. Make your own. So you've got a spark plug in here to use. There you go. Weld something into that. Doesn't have to be a hex. I like hex and turn it, but the round works too. Hex is good and bad. You get better holding, but you can't. You you only go in six points where you can hold the head, so you can't get as close as you want. Okay, so this here, I'm going to go in there and knock off the high spots more. I'm going to work on that V angle, I think, first. Match it up to like the other head was. Actually, I spent way too much time in there, so now i got to go back and do it again. Okay, this one's not as constipated as the other one in that V part, but it still is in there. So I'm going to knock these out right in that same spot. I just got done doing it, so I got a pretty good idea what I did. That helps. No two heads are the same, so you don't have to have everything identical. It ain't going to be identical anyway, so let's get it closed. That's all you can do. Am I blocking the view there? You got a good view of my shoulder? How's that look? It look good? Dude, I can't work either. Quite a bit more than the other head was. All right, so I put the V in that way. This one had to cut a lot more out of this side to make it blend better. So this one here didn't go quite as much, but we cut quite a bit deeper through here, so now you have a trough to for air to go through. So I'm gonna go flip this around, blend the other side, and we'll come back and finish this side up. The camera's in a bad spot. I'm showing you this. And we also got more work to do on the bowl on this side because this bowl is a lot smaller than the other side. So we got to open up the bowl. Here we 
kind of see a little bit better. The head came loose. All right, so first thing I do is get the bowl opened up to match the other one a little bit better. metal in here. Like this. Let's try. Dip, dip. Not dip. put that dip in there okay so now I open this up a lot through here so now you can actually see it's kind of bowl shaped like that before it's kind of flat like that I did a lot of grinding right through here to open up two around that side of the guide this side here is already pretty well opened up and okay, now we can come back with the fine tip cutter and there we go smooth it up a little bit Here's my smoothing bit. Cut the V first a little bit. Now blend. And smooth, mainly just smoothing. Okay, so now it's got a nice big bowl in there like the other one is now. So it's got a nice bowl all around that way, and all around this way. You put your finger in there between the guide and the thing now, so now it fits. Okay, now we go on the other side and blend it from that side. You notice I'm not chopping the valve guide boss down any more than the cutter hits against it. We want that there to support the valve guide. Now you can see where we got where the original blend and the new blending cut was right here. This here was never cut here before and it's too damn low, so stay off of that. So all I can do now is just kind of blend this over into here a little bit. It's kind of wavy through here. You can see how uneven it looks through there. So I'm going to take that and blend it a little bit. Now if I use this, I'll leave a lot of high spots and low spots all the way through there. So I'm going to use my other one here. So we're going to use a blending bit. Okay, get it where you can hold it. The tripod out of the way helps. Okay, so we're going to go all the way in there where we just started. Move the cutter back and forth and kind of get a feel for where it wants to go. See how the cutter's rotating as I do this? Also see how it moves side to side a little bit? That's where the high spots are. And right there, see how it jumps? The cutter kind of jumps up right here. It's a high spot right there. Now you want to make sure you don't dig it in the back side of this over here. Don't do that.
See how smooth it up. Now you realize the camera's blocking half what I was looking at. Okay, you put your finger in there and feel it. It's still a little bit wavy. Because I'm using one hand, I can't do a real good job. But see, there's a lot of lows and highs in there. Okay, now I'm going to use both hands, which I can smooth out better. Which you kind of get an idea what we're doing. Now we're going to use both hands, though. So I need to support a second hand to control exactly what the profile I'm making is. The same movement, but this stabilizes. It's like having a shock absorber on, your, on it. Very hard to make something round and straight. Take out dips and whoop de doos. Takes a lot of practice. Okay, anyway, more of it came out now. It's pretty straight. You got some low spots in there, but it's pretty straight now. I can't do anything about the lows because I want to make it bigger. But it's pretty smooth. There's a big low spot right about my fingers right here. You'll probably see it. But anyway, it's in there. All these little pick, 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 pecker marks do all through there. Those are still the original lows, but they're almost gone now. But the port shape's real nice and clean. You see how the air comes right in here, comes right up to the valve guide, and goes right up through here, right into the motor where it belongs. Okay, so now you gotta do the other side. Stay off this damn short side up under here. Don't screw with that damn thing. They got a little bit sharp in there already. I got too much cutting in there already. I bumped against it a couple times. <coughs> All right, now we go on the other side. So hold the head where you got good access to it to your angle. Whatever works for you is best. Okay, this one here is going to be low. I can tighten the head up a little bit more to get what I need. Okay, so now we're going to be a lot lower now. And we're over here now. Okay, you can almost see the port now. Blow it up a little bit. You can kind of see in there now. Look at that. I'm working on this side, not this side. Same thing though, basically. Okay, put your finger in there, see what you gotta do. This one's pretty nice. That's just trying to straighten and flatten is all I'm doing. about it. Feels good there. You can see a lot of low spots in there, but it's okay. The high spots, the smooth spots are good. There's no high spots. So you can see all the little dimple, dimple, dimples in there all the way through it. That's pretty smooth all the way in. And the shape's good. Airflow goes right through there. So see it's kind of equal to this side. Slightly different, but close. So you look down, you got two fingers of airflow coming through. See, right on through it. Okay, short side is, don't screw with that, it's good, okay, I'm going to go back over here again, take a quick look over here, I just want to see what I'm going to, is anything going to do to knock off any more areas I don't like, it's pretty clean. Probably shouldn't do a damn thing in there right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a mess. What the hell? Got one more chance to screw up something, so might as well go for it. Okay. That's new to that one. Pretty good. That's it. Done.
Don't screw it up any more than that. You won't like it. Okay, so now we got that opened up pretty nicely. The exhaust, you notice we didn't hardly do anything on that because it's already pretty damn big. So. Okay, here's the other one. I still got to work on this one because I made that one too nice. Take a look at it. This one's pretty good. Yeah, I made this one a little bit bigger. It's mainly bigger on its own right through here. That's factory. They already cut it way big through here, which I didn't need to be done. This one here they didn't do as big, so it's better. Yeah, I can open it up just a little bit. Yeah, we'll come back and kiss the other one out a little bit. See, I keep making one too good. Actually, I know how big I just made this one, so we'll come back and just lightly kiss this other one. Make it more equal. Another five minutes. Probably a little bit of probably. Well, oh, there we go. All right, so what are we going to do on this one? What do we see? I see it's a little bit humped up right there, I don't like. The bowl's a little tight around my finger right there, which I don't like. But now it looks pretty good. All right. We'll make it more equal now. So you keep making one better, you keep going back and forth. Eventually they're all screwed up. All right. That's one of the problems. All right, tip, dip, dip. Do it again. See the bowl? Little finger goes in the bowl. Nice big bowl. All right, flip it around, clean up on the other side, blend it in the main port. Should be good. Let's see, I have to do it from this side. Oh, I 
of an angle. Okay, so as you're looking at right there, it's just going to blend us right here a little bit. That's good over there. Pretty good. Definitely runnable the way it is. Looks like somebody already worked on it a little bit. Hmm, wonder who that could have been. blended now just knocked off this wall right through here a little bit and right down in here I knocked this right my finger is a little high so now it's blended from here to here pretty straight smoothed up a little bit could take a little bit more on the wall out here but it just kills the mid-range kills the low one makes more mid and top I don't know how the customer's gonna use this motor I'm not supposed to be doing a port job maybe he won't notice I'm not going to tell him. Are you going to tell him? No, I'm not going to tell him. It's a secret. Okay. The other side. What have got to work with over here? Okay, so now, let's see if let's open up back in here. A little bit of a high spot through here, and then it's nice here. So you can knock this off a little bit right here and blend it too. The bottom's good, top's good, just right here in the side wall. That's it, right where my fingers are going to cut. Blow about a sixteenth out right through here. That's it. <coughs> you made the bowl bigger, now you can make the whole port slightly bigger. Use the coarse one, it works actually better. Got more control when it cuts. About it. Got not getting too big already. Okay, so I blew the wall out. Now it's just a long radius like this. I don't want to take a whole wall out like that. Just he was like this. I just kind of radiused it. So now it rolls in there real nice, right up into the bowl. You can see I didn't cut the bottom of the port because it's already, or this is actually top. You know, it's already cut too deep from the factory. I don't need to cut any more of that damn thing. It's plenty big enough. I blew a lot out of the material right where my finger is, so the blow. Breathe through there. 
comes up in the radius right through here, so right through there. Anyway, it's pretty good. Everything could be worked a little bit more, but you just spend more hours doing detail work. You don't have to do all this detail work to make them breathe. So just knock out the big stuff. We've already worked on this thing way, way more than we should have. More showing you how to do it than really needing to be done. So, oh well, another free port job. Yeah, it won't be the first, won't be the last. Anyway, that's probably about a $400 port job there, so. Maybe I'll get 100 bucks for it. It'll probably be free. Good job. Now you need to do the intake manifold to take full advantage of this. If you don't do the intake manifold, you lose about half which we just did. So well, a lot of work to be done the intake on these things. All right, so there's what they look like all done up. Good to go. Exhaust port. So now this is ready for a valve job. All this other work was just fixing the heads. Now we can actually do a rebuild. Time for a valve job. That'll be next. But not today. That's it for now. I'm supposed to be working on my race bike. That's what all those fork legs are over there for. We're supposed to be working on this thing right over here. Instead, we're working on these and the other jobs. But oh well, customer will be happy. All right, that's it for the night on this one.